Yeah. Yeah, this is Frankie Francis. Frankie Super Champ. Crazy Town. Um, just gonna show you some of my Nintendo collection here. I will show you the completes. Um, complete collection. There's still more over there. There. In that case. Um, yeah. Got a little bit of nasal congestion. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Sound service by, by the Hunter and uh, Star Soldier. Well, Sound Service and Star Soldier, here's what they serve. So, say if I got like this game right here, this really nice one Tournament Fighters. See if it got yellowing on the back. You just take that off with the security driver, pop one off with Star Soldier. Flip your backs. Uh, this one doesn't have a good back, but here's this one does. See, pretty much the same one. So there's a few tricks you can do with um, Nintendo games. But yeah, I got Zelda. Um, yeah, got these from the same guy. Um, guy's name is Scotty. Uh, he just sold his NES collection. Um, the rest of these I've gotten over the years from Chumley's. Chumley's. I think that was Disc Depot. That was Disc Depot. No. Yeah. I think that was Disc Depot. And it was a mix of. Because I got the original box. And I got that from DK Oldies. So. Yeah. And the manuals and all that good stuff. So yeah. It's. Um. It's been a collection I've been building for at least 15 years. It's almost 20 years collecting. And this is just a small collection because, like, I was unemployed for a while. And, like, you know, big collections take up a lot of space. Like, they just do. I don't like stowing them away in boxes. And, you know, my friend had them stuffed away in a box. And that's why he, and he buys and sells stuff and... You know, but he had it. It was his personal collection, like this beautiful Zelda. This is really nice condition. I, I personally cleaned this for the guy, and um, tested, and made sure that everything was working. And then finally, I bought it. But three or four weeks later, I just couldn't keep my eye off it. Um, Zelda, I find really fascinating. Um, I tried uh, Majora's Mask. Couldn't, didn't like it. Tried the Japanese version. I had a Japanese 64 years ago. I don't know why I sold it. I think it was because I needed guitar money. You know, loans. Financing, you know. Not loans, but I mean financing. Yeah. Anyways, um, so what I'm going to do is use that as a back plate. Uh, these games are tough as nails, you know. So we're going to flick out some more completes. Um... Starting with Double Dragon series here. Oh, jeepers. Yeah, well, it's down there in the case. So, see, there's another common I use for back plates. But I'm going to show you a beautiful Mega Man set. How would we start with the Mega Man set? We all like Mega Man on here, don't we? Hopefully, you do. If, you're, if you don't like Mega Man, okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah. So, I picked these up and I bargain deal. Uh, Mario 2, Elway, and Star Service, or whatever you call that game, Star Soldier, for 20 bucks. The deals are out there if you're looking for them. Best place is Kijiji or your online classifieds. Uh, sometimes the secondhand shops. Um, there are some really good retailers. Uh, Chumley's is amazing here in the town that I live in. And, um, you know, the best guy to talk to is the owner, Russ, one of the owners. And he's just an amazing man. He's a real gentleman. And, um, he, he is more than happy to make a deal with you. If you're fair with him, he'll be fair with you. And I've learned that over the years, at, uh, Russ. You know, um, yeah, I got Mike Tyson's there. I just gotta get it out. A lot of stuff. Okay. Um, this is 15 years of collecting, so yeah, it's a small collection, but uh, 
there's reasons, as I said. And the, there, there we go. This is the first NES game, one of the first games I ever played that was more than just Super Mario. And had a lot of meaning to me, and I really took off on it. And I still can, and get right up to level 6. Um, the Haunted Mansion part, I'm not as skilled as some NES gamers. Um, I got the Contra collection complete. Um, but anyways, let's talk about these. Um, we got Metroid here. Uh, we got Mega Man 6. Yeah, Metroid is pretty awesome. It's an older game. I knew the people things from Mom's Basement. Aaron and Greg Knowles. Uh, great people. Uh, they won. I think it was 35 for that. And I bought it. I think this came from DK Oldies. Mega Man 6. Um, this came from a good buddy of mine. Taylor Easter on Facebook. If you're down in the Virginia area. I suggest you talk to Taylor. If you want any good quality NES games. Um, this came off Amazon. By luck, I got it from Sosa Games, but I had a talk with them. I, w I said I want good quality Mega Man 5. The only little blemish is right there. You really have to be careful when you buy Mega Man 5, because you know what I'm talking about. This is, a, this is a heavy hitter, as they say. But I don't think I'll ever sell it. Um, that's one of my favorite games, Manhattan Project. You get the surf, and you know, you're taking out those purpley ninjas. Oh, it's just so, so cool. And, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and Mega Man 3, it's good. Mega Man 2 is really fun. Love Kirby's Adventure. My friend Chris, his daughter was getting ready for college, and she needed money. So she said, 15 bucks, and it's yours. I said, okay. Nah, I wasn't... I was more than happy to part ways with $15 on a Kirby's Adventure. Um, that's an amazing game, Kirby's. I wish I had the second one. I actually cleaned it up. It's up at Russ's shop, and uh, Scotty used to own it. Um, but price here in Canada is about 275 250 you know, it's it's high. Another game I cleaned for him was uh, Action 52. But my advice to you, if you're looking at buying a game like Action 52, you better have, it better be like the last game in your library that you're finishing. Because I'm telling you, unless you got the whole entire Nintendo library, it's not worth buying. It's, <clears throat> let me do my assumption of it. It's not good. It it's it was done by American animators, but I just don't think they really took the time to put the time into a good game. It's kind of like Rygar. It's boring, you know. You go across the desert strip and then you go, and then you go down the thing. And it's nothing like Super Mario Brothers or um, Metroid or. Mega Man 5 or Mega Man or some of these Double Dragon 2 Double Dragon I love you know, Double Dragon 3 I wish I could say I love it but that is a tough game and I'm going to pull out some more tough titles here I think what makes a good game a great game is the difficulty and uh you know I remember me and my brother yelling and screaming back in the day when we couldn't beat uh, great Tiger, and then finally Paul Beam, you know, but it just takes so much focus. You just got to stay at it. You just got to keep staying at it, you know, but just take an air ball, so, you know, take a little time off, and then, you know, take, get some thoughts up, and how you're going to beat him, go over the strategy guide, I remember doing that. Um, as you can see, I would love to replace this Micro Machines. This is not an actual authentic Mac micro machines. This is made by Camerica. Um, but it works pretty good. And like I don't have a complete collection, so 
But I have some pretty good titles. Like I got Contra Force, I got Super C, I got Contra here. And those are pretty good. Contra, I find you really have to be on your timing. Everything is built on timing. Just like Super Mario. If you can do the timing, you can probably beat the game. If I took the time, if I had the hours and a couple pin sets, yeah, I'd probably beat it. Um, you know, it wears them out. You know. and I had a little scare one night with that Watermelon 64. I got to the 17th level without a save card, and now I have one. I have the expansion, that beauty. And I was doing real well. I was on a tear. And funny enough, it was Stan Lee's birthday. And we all know Stan's passed on. And uh, most of gave me the power of the spider at night. And, and my fingers. I can tell you. I almost beat that game. But I went and I put my hand on it when I went to turn it off. You can actually feel it. It was getting a little warm. See, our, those are the things where emulators are really good. Like, are handy. But here's the ups and downs of emulators. Here's the downs. Emulators have pretty, pretty much drained the money out of these games, you know. Some of them, you know, you don't get the heavy money like you used to. You know, if there's guys that wheel and do games and they see, the, see this collection, you know, it's nice. But, you know, some games they wouldn't even, like this one, I'm getting like, I bought it for like 30. I think I remember when that game was like $45, 50. Now that the emulators are on the market, it has taken a lot from the retailers. You know, like my good buddy Russ at uh, Chumley's and Jimmy and them, you know, it does hurt the market. So, you know, it is exciting having all these cartridges. Like, having the originals. Because you can build a nice bookshelf. Like, even if you don't want to play them. I play them. Like, I got mine right there. I got the wires in the drawer. Down there. And, uh... But, yeah. Just a message from my friend, Lori. And, uh, yeah. Kind of busy guy here. So, I'm just kind of going over everything here. But, yeah. The, the retail market on these is not as high as it used to be. But it is a good time to buy. I'll say that. Okay, I, I got these two beauties from my friend Scotty. Battletoads and Zelda. For uh, 75 bucks. Straight up. So, yeah. And Scotty was more than happy to sell them to me. Uh, he has to provide Pete's tickets for his kids, you know. Roofs over their heads, you know. Pay the bills at his house. He works out of his house. He sells uh, cell phones as well. And, uh, yeah, he's a good guy. Um, he's got his business license and just a very dedicated family man. Um, very friendly to deal with. Very business like and. Uh, Always share a joke with you. I like that with Scotty. If Scotty's watching this, you know, Scotty, you're really funny, man. Like, sometimes I'll come down there. We play Pac-Man, Street Fighter 2, and his 1-Ups. He has 1-Ups for sale. I think they're about 350. So, he has the original boxes, and that's why he's asking a little more for them. So, yeah, that's something you want to check into. Because I think you can emulate those. So, yeah, he's put brand new... Uh, finger screens on them, you know, the scratch boards, so, he wore a few of them out, we did, you know, it's fun, you know, it feels like you're back in the arcade again, you know, I, I remember those days, I remember when there was one in Lansdowne Mall, <laughs> I had a lot of fun down there, I like playing Cruise in USA, and, oh, there was, uh, Star Fox, Star Fox 64, girl started coming on to me right there, Right on the spot. I'm playing Star Fox 64. Uh, speaking of Star Fox 64, we got a little Mario Kart 64. Bought that from Scotty. I bought a lot of stuff from Scotty. Yeah, the Castlevania 3 here. 
I got this from DK Oldies. DK is another amazing store down in Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Owned by Drew. And has a great crew. And they really know their stuff. And uh, very reasonable priced. And they always make trades. So feel free to check them out on the website. There's my 64. I actually forgot where I bought this. I think I'd have to say... At my good buddy Terry's at First Stop Swap Shop. Yes, I did. Yeah. But I can tell you one thing. I've been in 45 minutes. Still got that touch. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get the girl that day, but still. Got pretty good at Star Fox 64. Yeah. This game, I can get up to Great Tiger. I can beat Great Tiger. And then when Bubble Bowl comes out, I'm cooked. And it's like, dang, I lost to Bubble Bowl. And like, he's so easy to beat because I've watched my friends beat him on when we have NES parties. And it's like, dang, dude, you just beat him. Yeah, yeah, you could have beat him like that, man. And it's like, so it's one of those things. You, you get to see them. But uh, it's unfortunate. There's a little trick to ball bull. Before he rimbles up those gloves, he, I think that's when you you swing at him. And you'll see his eyes go swirling around like a like a uh, a one-eyed bandit, uh, one arm bandit. Yeah, exciting game though. And also watch the crowd in the background. It will time you in. There'll be somebody who'll blink their eyes or their little their chin and it'll get you'll get the timing correct and you'll win each and every time. Timing is everything in these old NES games. Except for Zelda. Zelda's more it's RPG. Uh you can really have a lot of fun. It's a lot like what Xbox released. They did their own version of Zelda. But Zelda is Zelda. You know, Zelda is legendary. Um, if I had a Switch, I probably would have bought uh, Breath of Fire or whatever you call that game. The new one. I'm not acclimated with Zelda. I want to get Link. I'm thinking about getting one right tomorrow. But, uh, and I know you guys are, or gals are probably saying, yeah, you should. But, um, guys asking 30. It is a clean cartridge. Um, gotta get my hair cut. I'll see where I'm at. After I get my rent out. You know. You gotta balance and cook the books the right way. No. There's only so much stuff you can afford. And you gotta leave some money in the bank. But there's so many links out there. Like. Zeldas are super hard to find in clean condition. That's the only thing. I was lucky. I got that one. I knew of it quite well. I had pictures of these ones. Some of these, two of them, Zelda and Tournament Fighters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite a collection. But, um, yeah. And sometimes now I go into video game stores and I find it difficult. What do I need for my NES? And should I just leave it like this I think now it's time for me to start building the 64 collection we've got three games it's like uh, probably some of you guys are saying like dude you need to build your 64 collection you know I would like to get some of the original video games like the Bombermans for NES but yeah they're, they're really high in price they're like 300 bucks and like, I just bought Tournament Fighters for 200 tonight. It uh, wasn't cheap, but it's worth it. You know, and you go out and you... There's not to be in around. Um, this one's 140 I bought it from the same guy, Scotty. Super clean. This real nice clean label. Uh, it's a later animation. Anything that's like 1991, 92, you're gonna pay high. 
See, this is when the Super NES was there, and yeah, Super NES came out in 91. The top loader Nintendo came out also. Top loaders are more preferable if you're a heavy gamer. You love gaming. My friend Drew Payne has one on Facebook, and uh, he loves it. They are tricky to find. I have seen one recently at DK Oldies. So, good price, $124, and that comes with like $45, $60. Might be a one-year warranty on that. Uh, just just give them a call. Uh, call, you know, make sure you got your credit card handy and whatever. You'll be good. It'll hook you up, treat you ice. Um, if you're buying off eBay, I'm just going to tell you right ahead of time. Uh, any purchases now, you have to go through a link. You have to link it through PayPal. So be careful. Um, if you mess up, because it, it can be a real headache. And they'll actually purposely keep you on the phone for about four hours. They will drive you nuts. Anyways, in short... Have fun, play retro games, enjoy life. Um, don't spend your life in front of the video game screen. I don't. Most I spend is like roughly an hour at night or 20 minutes, depending on what I'm playing. I love Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I want to get the Truck Mechanic Simulator. You know, but that's life. Because... Um, there's so many other things you do. You can read, you can do other hobbies, you can go outside, go for walks. I'm going public skating tomorrow. It's free public skating pretty much everywhere across Peterborough. And I think my ankle's healed enough. I had a sprained ankle here back a while ago. It was all swollen up. So I'm feeling pretty good and I think I'll take a chance on it. My speed's right back up walking. I can power walk again. I love power walking, walking fast. Uh, you burn lots of calories. It revs up the metabolism. So anyways, I'm going to close down the laundry for tonight. It's a little too late. I'll do some laundry in the morning and take off for skating. Free skating all week. Right till New Year's Eve. You know, get myself back in shape. I'm putting on too much gut, you know. It's too easy to put on uh, the weight. It's hard to get it off, you know. So, my advice to you, if you're going to have a snack, just have an apple. Forget the potato chips. My weakness is potato chips or donuts, whatever it is. We all have those things that we like to eat around this festive season. And uh, now it's time to ease up and find something good to eat. Now you have yourself a great time out in YouTube land. And as always, my black rug. I vacuumed that two days ago. And it's already dirty. And those are just lint. That's just lint. That's all it is. Carrying the hamper around. And it comes off my hands also when I clean it. So I'll see you later. Bye now.